Hey guys, it's Yuto here from SachiRecipes.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a rich and creamy homemade matcha ice cream. I'll be making it completely by hand, you don't need an ice cream machine for this recipe, so let's get started. First let's go over the ingredients. For about 6 servings, you'll need 200ml of full fat milk, 200ml of heavy cream with 36% milk fat, 2 egg yolks, 75 grams of sugar, 1 teaspoon of cornstarch and 1 and half tablespoon of matcha powder. So I'm going to start by adding my milk and cream to a pan on a medium low heat and heat it up until it starts to show small bubbles around the edges. Make sure to stir it constantly to prevent a film from forming on the top and keep the temperature constant all the way through. We don't want to boil it or let it get too hot because it could separate and curdle. I usually aim for about 50 or 60 degrees celsius which is around 130 degrees fahrenheit. Once you see little bubbles around the edges, take it off the heat while we work on the next step. So I've got a steel bowl here and I'm going to mix 2 egg yolks. 75 grams of sugar and 1 teaspoon of cornstarch together. Once they're well combined, temper the mixture by adding a ladle full of your warm milk and cream. Whisk it thoroughly and then gradually add the rest of the milk and cream while whisking. We do this to gently warm the egg yolks and stop them from getting lumpy and cooked in the mixture. Once it's well mixed, pour it back into the pan through a sieve. This will just catch any unwanted lumps. Turn the heat on low and sift in one and a half tablespoon of matcha powder. Stir it in and then keep mixing it over the low heat until it thickens. We're essentially making a matcha custard right now. You need to keep the heat low and stir continuously to keep it smooth but it doesn't take too long. Once it's thick enough, transfer it to a bowl. I like using a steel bowl for this because now I can place this in a bowl of ice. This stops the cooking process and helps it cool down quickly. I also place a sheet of plastic wrap on top, touching the surface. This stops the skin from forming on top while it cools. After about 20 minutes, it should be cool enough to put in the freezer. Transfer it to a freezeable container. I like to use steel containers for this because it gets cold fast. I also recommend using a wide container rather than a tall one. It will set quicker, which means you can enjoy your ice cream sooner. Now because I don't have an ice cream machine, I'll be churning it by hand. For my recipe, I take it out of the freezer every 30 minutes and mix it for about 1 minute each time. I'll keep doing this for 3 hours in total, so that's 6 turns. I find it's helpful to set a timer and then go and do something else. I also recommend making this recipe in the morning, it will be ready by the afternoon. Be aware that if you double or triple this recipe and put the mixture in one big container, it will take longer to set. If you want to make more, I recommend using multiple containers to speed up the freezing time. 
after six turns, leave it in the freezer for another couple of hours and then it should be ready to enjoy. So it's been a few hours and I took my ice cream out of the freezer about 10 minutes ago so that it's easier to scoop. Let's see how it goes. It scoops really nicely and looks so delicious and creamy. I'm just gonna sprinkle it with a bit of extra matcha for decoration. And there you have it, delicious homemade match ice cream. Enjoy it on its own or use it to make ice cream mochi or a Japanese style parfait. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more tasty Japanese recipes. Have a good day and hope to see you next time.